The mission, should you choose to accept it, get this pile of junk E30 back to Laguna Seca so we can go racing once again. Welcome back to Rev Match. I'm doing a ton of E30 content and I've also got a 240 build, so if you like that stuff, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. The motor is mounted too high on the driver's side and I'm thinking of maybe flipping the motor mount over, making it upside down, and let's see how that works. So let's go and check it out on the wall. Right now on the motor, it would be sitting like this. Let's try this really crappy theory. So right now on the motor, we'll be sitting at the same height as this paper towel right here. Let's flip it over. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So we can mess around with the motor mounts like I just showed you guys. I'm not sure if that's gonna work or we can just put these transmission mounts in and hope that they don't pop apart and just drive the car and see what happens. It's been driving okay so far. That hasn't been an issue. Maybe we'll just do that. I kind of want to lean towards because I just want to get this thing racing and our motto right now is more racing, less fixing. We've decided to go with the patented tried and true race technology. It's called longer bolts and extra washers. I think they use this in Formula One and NASCAR, so it's got to work amazing for our E30. Honestly, I can't believe it took me about a day to figure this out, but here we are, and that's what we're gonna try, and this is what we're going with, because we're going back to the track. Yes, it was super simple, and guess what? It's an E30 party again. Woo! It's an E30 party, broken all the time, yeah. We're just gonna continue putting the rest of the car together. We're getting the exhaust on. We're gonna get it down off the stands and hopefully we'll get racing really soon. So if you guys wanna see more E30 content, just hit that subscribe button and the little bell and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.